Hey guys, I'm BTC. This is Feed the Beast. I've got my solar panels hooked up, although it looks like it's raining right now, so they're not really collecting any sunlight. I think they're... Oh no, they're collecting sunlight. That actually... Hmm, I wonder. Do they normally collect power? I mean, generating A. So hey, maybe... Maybe because it's not actually, I mean, it's raining and the sky is dark, but they're still collecting max power. I, mean, I didn't, I didn't bother to check. That. Oh, actually that dipped for a second. I could have sworn I, oh yeah, it did. It like flickers. I don't know. Maybe, I, th I could have sworn that solar panels didn't collect full power during rain because it treated it like it was dark. I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter. It's working right now, and I got a bunch of power in my MFSU. Quite a bit, actually. So what do we got? What is that? Two million already? Not bad. I'll take it. It's a pretty, pretty decent amount of power. I worked a little bit on the walls, and... I gotta figure out how I'm gonna handle the windows and stuff on this side and how I'm gonna handle the opening here, but I kinda wanna put like a, a nice big door right here. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the rail system. I wanna get my, I wanna get my tree farm, or actually no, eh, probably not the tree farm, probably the, uh, probably do the wheat farm. I want to get that thing up and running. Because I want to start because I'm well, I'm running out of apples and I want to start working on I need some indigo dye. I think it's indigo dye. I want to start getting the wheat because then I need to start breeding cows because I'm almost out of apples. So that's Kind of annoying, like, ah, oh. yeah, well, whatever. All right, so what I want to do now is I actually want to start making some recipes, or more, more appropriately, some plans. So I'm going to make those. These, these are blank plans. Put that in there, and then I'm going to put this here, and it will, should make the plan. There we go. And let's just take that. And then I want to actually make some rails. I went and made quite a few rails, if you didn't notice. And I need to put a blank plane in there. There we go. So now, if you're unfamiliar with how this works, although, I mean, this is a pretty basic thing for Feed the Beast. I've just been avoiding it. You put this in there and it will automatically do that and then you can just click it and make the track so I'll make as many as I can right now and then it shows you up oh, you're out of you're out of rail and then we'll put that back in there wooden rail tie just make as many as I can and let's kind of it doesn't put it in the, um, here. It puts it in my inventory. But anyways, so this is, uh, a decent amount of, uh, rail. I'm gonna leave, the, well, I don't need that in there, but I'll leave the blank plans in there for right now. And let's go and make some, or I'm gonna go in and lay out the rest of, uh, this, track right here for the farm and the the issue with the farm I have hydrators set up uh, but that is going to be kind of difficult I think um, I'm gonna have to set up a system where it takes the where it takes because uh, I'm, I'm kind of going off track here <laughs> get it track all right let's let's start at the beginning 
the hydrator cannot be filled using pipes. You have to use buckets. And in order to do that, you have to put buckets in the um, module manor manager, I believe. And it might be the module manager. Hang on, let me check. Module. No, it's not the module toggler. It's the... I think it's on page 26. No, it's a couple back. Where is it? I think I might have gone by it. Did I go by it? Nope, there it is. You need the cargo manager. That's what it is. So I'm actually going to have to make some of these. So what you need is you have to use the cargo manager, okay, to actually put, well, first you got to put empty, buck well, you got to put filled buckets in it. It will then put them in the cart, then take them out of the cart uh, empty, and then you have to take the empty ones and you have to pump them uh, somewhere else, and yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of annoying. Um... By the way, I found these the other day in my quarry. I didn't even... And it's like, it's one thing, too, which is kind of weird. This must be a railcraft thing. A work cart. Like, nor I would expect it, like, in vanilla to break apart, but it doesn't. So anyways, you have to use... You have to use, um the module, uh, excuse me, the cargo manager in order to actually, you know, do it. You know, originally I was going to have just one and I was going to set it up over here and have both of them go over there. But I think what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to actually have a different cargo manager for each side. So I might actually be able to extend this a little bit. So... Um, it's gonna come along this way right here, and this, of course, it's uneven, mm. or it's, it is even, which means that <laughs> I have to pick a spot. Oh, it's uneven, or excuse me, it's even, it's not odd, that's frustrating. Actually... You know what? That might not be that bad, because what I could probably have it do is, for this one at least, I can have it take... Yeah, that's that's what I can do. This one will take the buckets out, and this one will fill them up. Okay. But I think this is a little too close to the wall here, actually, because I gotta put in a whole aqueous whatever, whatever. Uh, system over here. So. Alright, well, I'm gonna grab the rest of the stuff. I will be back in a second. Alright, guys, I'm back. I went and made a bunch of the materials that I'm gonna need. So, first up, I need to make another cargo uh, distributor. This is what allows you to pipe items in or out of the... A cargo manager. Mm. So I already made one uh, for the trees. Oh no, the trees. And now I'm going to make the other one for the wheat. All right. And then I need the cargo manager. And I need two of these. And how this is made is just from the chest pain. Oh, I'm having chest pains. Um, mm. That you use for the chests. And then an iron ingot. And then from there, you can make the large ones and the huge ones. And then you also need the uh, the dynamic pane to make the large dynamic panes, which then make the cargo manager itself. I also went and broke these. And I got to tell you, this lag is so frustrating because... This thing is, I don't know, it's 
it takes a while, even with a, 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 a you know, a diamond pickaxe, sapphire pickaxe, whatever, it takes a while to break it. And with the lag, I was breaking them two, three, four times. It was like uh, breaking a block of obsidian. So finally, I just said, and broke it that way because it was just unbelievable how long it was taken to 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 break it due to the uh the lag all right i also went and got me some aqueous accumulators and i got some mr buckets right here Ooh, actually you know what i need i need another water i need one more water where did i uh i don't think i have a an infinite water source up here. I know there's obviously tons of water over there, but um, let me see if I can just grab one of these. You know, I don't like... Because then it... Oh, no, that's that's fine. Yeah. Because it get, then it gets ruined, and it's kind of annoying uh, to try to fix. Because this doesn't work like the vanilla uh, snapshot where the top layer does get fixed. This is still running off of an old one. All right, so here's what I need. I need to have it so that the cart, when it comes over here, uh, let me let me actually grab uh, some more rails. So when the cart comes over here, it needs to go by. The detector rail uh, which should be right here so detector rail is gonna be right there cargo manager uh, no yeah, yeah. was cargo manager there it is and then the cargo distributor so this goes right there and interesting uh, the way this is it's one of those types of blocks where no matter what direction or you know no matter how you place it it's always facing certain directions and that's because of the the way the outputs work so you put that there and then you got to put this thing on top of it and this is where you actually pipe the items into it or out of it and then you know this is where it tells the cart okay i you know i'm gonna all laid out to shared by all sides. That's not what I want. I want it so that currently each side has its own slots. Um, each slide has its each side. Each color has its own slots. Yeah, because then I think I can change the color. Let me see here. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, actually, what I want to have is I want to have it uh, so that... Um, I'm going to have to use redstone engines right now, which is going to be kind of annoying. But we will actually make it so that... Well, let's, let's just... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's change this back to red for right now. And... This might be too close to the wall. Um, yeah, this is kind of close to the wall. I want to have some room. I'll, just like I, I do in the factory, I want to be able to have room to go behind it if I need to. Come on. Now let me let me just show you this. Can you... <laughs> no way, no way, not dealing with that. So we will put that there. Why don't we build back from the wall then? So I'm gonna start with the aqueous accumulator, which is right, which is gonna be right here. I'm gonna put that bad boy right there. And then I'm going to put water right there. 
and water right there that should fill I hope yep there it goes so now that's gonna fill up um, unfortunately there is no place to put a box uh, a bucket here so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get one of the what do you call it um, liquid transposers liquid transposer Nope. 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 There we go. Um, and this will actually put water in the buckets. Mr. Buckets. So, how do we make this stuff? Oh, that's pretty easy. Um, and machine... Oh, that's... That's nothing. That's nothing. Alright, let me... Um, let me go... Grab some copper then, real fast. Uh, what did I? What did it say? I needed. I needed some copper and I need some glass. So grab some copper and grab some glass. Mm. See how much faster it is to grab items now that I don't. I mean, I know where they are. Like I don't have to worry about um, opening chests. Just run by, punch some barrels, and get the stuff I need. Yeah. All right, so let's make this. Um, I only need one. Don't need 30-something uh, of them. And then the machine frame. Um, only need one again. And then we'll make one of these. So liquid transposer. All right, awesome. So I'm going to put this right there. And... What does that do? Um, it doesn't seem to be taking water in from it. I wonder if I have to actually pump it into it. I think I do. So this takes it out. This puts it in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, feels it empty. That whole press tool. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah tutorial. Redstone controls, computer, configuration mm. tab, something, something. Oh, you need power. Configuration. Um. Okie dokie. Mm. Ah. You need power for this thing. All right. Well, um. Hmm, I am going to have to run a line then of fiber. Oh man, that's going to be a pain. Okay. I'm going to have to get this thing powered up. Oh, this way, this uses, uh, this uses uh, mega jewels. So this uses engine stuff. Or Minecraft jewels, Michael Jackson's, whatever you want to call it. I think I'm actually going to move this a little bit further away from the wall. All right, so I'm going to have to get a, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to have to run power over to here, um, which means I'm probably going to have to use up a bunch of my diamonds to make fiber, which kind of stinks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to do that. I wonder, does this count as an advanced machine? Oh, are you serious? Look at that. Look at that. Here we go. See, that's what I mean. That lag is just crazy. Look at this. Thank you. Man, that is just... I don't know, man. That just... That is something else. Alright. I'm gonna grab this, and then... Fill that back in. I think I'm gonna move it over here. Or... I don't know, I'll figure it out. I, I gotta map this out. Um... Hmm... 
All right, well, I'm going to take care of this, figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it is never your fault. Hey, guys, you might know that I run a Minecraft custom map making build team, and we are currently looking for new people. So if you're good at building, making textures, or animating with programs like Blender or Maya, why don't you apply? You can go to blamethecontroller.com or click the link in the description.